Well, behind me is the Chop Mino project we did in the video. Yes, we chopped the top on El Camino, and it, it didn't turn out too good. It was a lusty to way car. It made for a good video, and I just wanted to do something kind of fun. You know, bring a video to the channel that somebody might enjoy. It was a pretty long video. It was a little rough work, but we could did better. But if you watched the video, the car was rough shape. Anyway, I'm going to go over this car because this is the last you will see of this El Camino on the channel. It is going to the big scrapyard in the sky because I have parted it out. I have completely parted it out because we are fixing another El Camino. If you watch my videos, if you're a subscriber and you check in ever so often, we're building a small box Chevy El Camino. It might get an LS later on. It might get a four-speed. I don't know, but this one had plenty of parts that that car needed. And this car was, I'll show you why it was so far gone. And before you ask, yes, they all can be saved. Now, this one would took a little bit more love than most. Now that the car is stripped, you can see the full extent of the rust. The other El Camino we got is pretty solid. It's solid where this one's not. And where this one was solid, the other El Camino needed. Hence why I cut the quarter panels off. Because we do need some patches. We do need some. Now the four boards on this one was okay. We cut the cross member out. If I can pull this back and show you. The cross member tunnel out. To use in a 36 Plymouth uh, sedan. You know, it, it's getting a 318 and a V8 and we needed a bigger tunnel. This one had it. Why not donate it? We're also using the pedals in the 36 Plymouth and the steering column. You know, it's, it's getting used, guys. It's not going to waste. The bedside on this car was pretty solid. I cut out what we needed with the plasma and extra. Underneath here, I sold all, I pretty much stuck and stole all the brake hardware off this, this little uh, G-body we in here. I left the cylinders, but you never know when you need a spring or one of these little holders or something for a project. So I just usually bag them up, put them all in there in an assortment of stuff, and if I ever need something, I go dig through it. But the frame looks solid So you get underneath let's see can you see that yet the frames rotted out from about right here back it looks solid but it's not it's hard to tell took the tailgate off of it putting a lot of scrap in it from other projects and stuff like the hood from the El Camino wasn't worth saving it's got a rust hole in it it's here some Dodge Nitro parts I sell on eBay so you know I end up with a lot of parts because I mostly deal in car parts and when you mostly deal in car parts you end up with a lot of scrap that you don't need to use 318 good 318 don't need it a pile of doors random doors I usually don't sell doors whole what I do with the doors is I take the grass out, sell the grass, sell the wiring harness, sell the actuators. It's easier to ship. And you get more usually out of a door if you part it out than you do the actual door. And, you know, it's easier to ship that stuff individually. Um, Durango stuff, random tire, you know. This is stuff that ain't been inventoried yet. Once everything is inventoried, I usually, you know, I got designated places. I put all the parts at. I need to stop putting my doors and stuff. This is from, like, you know, other cars in a dry spot. And not wait till they inventoried. Need a better well shed later on. But this side of the El Camino has been cut out too. The back bumper has been tucked off. You know, this is where we chopped the top. I mean, a lot of good parts here. And yes, yes, they are El Camino parts on my eBay store in the description below. If you're needing some, they will kind of get uploaded. Usually what I do is I got boxes of inventory stuff in this building and other buildings. 
and once I take like this bizzles and stuff, I label everything and mark it and usually I just grab a box and I start uploading it. So even if you don't see any El Camino stuff on at the moment, maybe a few things on, there will be more coming eventually. And I do got that other project as we do modifications and stuff to it. Stuff I don't use, I do sell. So let me know in the comment section, was you looking forward to see the Chop Mino built? Because it's not gonna happen. We're gonna build a stock looking roof skin one, you know, with a little bit of modifications. Something we can use, we can enjoy, don't have to modify grass on. You know, just something we can get parts for. And yes, I did keep the AC stuff. Uh, because a lot of people get these G bodies. And uh, this is blocked off. And if you like me, you like your AC. So we we'll put AC back in our cars. You know, get too old for that. You know, 110 degree degrees and baking ourselves in an oven. And we can have AC. You might not can tell it, but this is a lot of uh, inventory parts. Now, as I said, I put this is in the building here. And this is just from different cars. And this is the, the Charger, the Dodge Charger we've been uh, working on. Take a look. We got El Camino. We got whatever that's from. Everything's marked, though. El Camino. I think that's a Durango. You know, just tons tons of inventory here we got a 318's covered up and hits in the dry at the moment hits needs inventoried i actually gonna sh you know strip this engine i always been doing it to pull these power steam pumps a lot of the engine parts is done on the ebay store i'm going to strip it and uh sell the valve covers the heads the walkers individually and then sell the engine as a short block you know just bare bones because that's good hot rod engine transmission i don't know anything about the engine is good i didn't see the thing one and drive i would assume you know sell it as a core it's money you know somebody can go through it and we build it for the hot rod transfer case seems fine the ls swapped well back putting in work and uh i might actually change these front tires here they brand new to uh the back tire size which is 235 85 16s uh these is 245 75 16s which is a you know a little bit wider than the 235s i, I think of how it works and it the, the first number it's the the width i think and the second is the like the sidewall height so I'm not sure. It might be bigger. It might be 75. But uh, I'm thinking about, you know, uh, putting this this style tires on the front too, so we all be matching. These are Patriots uh, HT uh, weighted E tires, 10 ply. They're good tires. If you ain't never run them, and you got a heavy duty work truck, even if it ain't a dually. I recommend these Patriot tires. I had good things to say about them and I always have. They're not the cheapest tire, but they're also not the most expensive. And I will say this, they're such a good tire that they are hard to find in stock. You sometimes can see them trickle in, you know, the stocks. But I say a lot of people is getting to know this brand of tire. I really like them. They ride good, like I said. They got a little bit thicker sidewall. Just so you know, this sidewall is thicker than the normal tire. So I really like that about them. That's a personal thing. In case you didn't know, you know when you put these on a dory, you know when you got a fully weight with a big heavy load, they might try to touch it a little. Because they do, you know, got that bigger sidewall on them. Now I need to make more content. We got the Fords here. I just ain't had time. I've been trying to get the store filled with the inventory trying to get some things lined out uh got ball joints and everything orders for the ford video and that have to order new tires we got some new limbs for it adapters we got adapters for it so we're gonna put ford mustang limbs on this uh ford here and uh get hit back on the highway it it drives it's just the tires don't stay up you got like four hours of air in your tire maybe six if you're pushing it you know air them up to 80 they lick off fast. Them chrome limbs on this truck is junk. You probably could take them off and do all that. You can see we got a fleet of cars. 
that ain't all of them they stretch let's see if you can see them all the way down the highway you know around the house and everywhere cars 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 you know if if you ain't the person with all the vehicles then it's your neighbor and if your neighbor ain't got all the vehicles and you don't know that guy you're that guy or girl you know you you know they are car girls 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 i always have trouble with my l's uh yeah you just have trouble talk all together getting better at it though I had a comment the other day said when i first started watching your videos up uh, yeah i know i try i try to improve sometimes it's it's hard to uh improve that it's kind of like i got ocd too it's it's hard to deal with that because you know you're doing something stupid but you do it anyway and i always when i'm fighting it in my head you know not to do that and stuff like i used to have a bad habit of washing my hands um when i was a kid i would have my hands bloody from being washed and stuff i couldn't stand to touch anything and uh used to wear gloves too all the time jump phobic I, you can see where i ended up um how i fixed that was i i kind of had an argument with myself and i just toughed it out and got over it very hard to do i still take times where i almost break down how did i get on this subject i don't know thanks for watching tune in subscribe if you new videos to come it's getting fall i'm getting settled in now and i can bring you almost daily content again and i tell you i miss doing videos <laughs> i have